let us start the session today today we are going to start session 5 of chapter number 13 surface areas and volumes so this is the last session uh, for this chapter and we are going to complete optional exercise uh, first four questions because uh, last three questions is based on frustum of coin uh, frustum of cone so let us start with the first question the question is a copper wire 3 mm in diameter is wound about a cylinder whose length is 12 cm okay and uh, the diameter is 10 cm 10 cm of this uh, cylinder cylinder so as to cover the cur curved surface area of the uh, cylinder find the length and mass of the wire assuming the density of copper to be 8.88 g per cm cube so here the value of pi is not given in the question so what value you will take 22 by 7 okay it is not even it is not mentioned that take uh, pi as uh, uh, according to your uh, means requirement kabhi kabhi aisa bhi diya hota hai so i will show you in question number 2 okay so अब ध्यान से देखो द लेंथ द विथ ऑफ दिस वायर इज दिस वन एंड द टोटल लेंथ इज गिवन वन ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर और इफ यू राइट इन मिलीमीटर वन ट्वेंटी और द विथ ऑफ वन वायर इज गिवन थ्री मिलीमीटर सो हाउ मेनी रोटेशन इज देयर हाउ मेनी वोन्ट्स इज देयर कितने बार हम लोग इसको इस पर लपेटे हैं One so width 40. is three. One. Yes, very good. Forty. So total length, uh, total length is divided by diameter. Okay, fine. So uh, in one rotation, the length of the wire will be equal to circumference. Okay. So the diameter of the wire is given three millimeter. So radius will be three by two millimeter. Convert to centimeter. So we'll get three by twenty centimeter. And the diameter of the cylinder is given ten centimeter. so radius of the cylinder that is capital r 5 cm this is the cylinder the radius of cylinder and height of the cylinder is given 12 cm now length of one rotation of wire length of wire in one rotation is equals to circumference and what is the circumference of the cylinder circumference amlesh Two pi r h. Two pi r only. Circumference, not uh, the curved surface. Two pi r. Two pi r is equals to length of wire in one round. So two into twenty-two by seven into five is equals to length of wire. Because uh, the value of pi is not given, we are taking at twenty-two as twenty-two by seven. So in three no ko multiply karenge to we'll get two hundred and twenty upon seven. So this is the length of wire used in one round. Now the number of rounds is equals to height of cylinder divided by diameter. Height of cylinder is one twenty millimeter, and the diameter is three millimeter. So we can use the unit directly millimeter, but we already converted into centimeter. So twelve upon three by ten. So ये ten by three हो जाएगा. So cancel it this one and we'll get forty rounds. <clears throat> Any doubt here? Number of uh, rounds? No, sir. Okay. So the total of length of wire, total length of wire will be forty into okay number of rounds into length of wire used in one round. That is forty into two hundred and twenty upon seven. If you solve this. You will get approximately equals to one thousand two hundred and fifty-seven point one four centimeter. But in NCERT, the answer is given according to three point one four. Pi is equals to three point one four. But actually, the value of pi is not given. So that is why I took twenty-two by seven, and according to twenty-two by seven, the answer is to one thousand two hundred and fifty-seven point one four centimeter. Now we have to find this is the length of wire. now we have to find the volume of wire why volume because we have to find the mass total mass of the wire so what is the volume of wire what is the sh shape of wire wire ki shape mein hota hai cylinder cylinder right so volume of wire will be pi r square h okay 
uh, already we used uh, uh, no koi problem nahi pi r square h the total length is capital h only right so 22 upon 7 what is the radius 3 by 20 so 3 by 20 into 1257.14 so if you solve all this we will get uh, approximately it is equals to 88.89 centimeter cube and the mass of 1 centimeter cube is given in the question that is 8.88 gram so the total mass will be equals to 88.89 the volume that is centimeter cube into 8.88 so approximately we will get 789.41 gram hence the total length uh, uh, that is capital H is equals to 1257.14 centimeter and the mass of the wire is equals to 789.41 gram any doubt in this question we will move towards next question question number 2 now see here it is given choose value of pi as found appropriate and we have to find volume and surface area okay so let us read the question a right triangle whose sides are 3 cm and 4 cm other than hypotenuse is made to revolve about its hypotenuse find the volume and the surface area of the double cone so found see this figure uh, this is right angle, right angle at A. So this is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree. And BC is the hypotenuse. Okay, BC is the hypotenuse. If it is revolved around the hypotenuse, we will get two cones, upper cone and the lower cone. If we uh, revolve the triangle about AB, then we will get one cone last year question was there in ninth class if we revolve around AC then also we will get one cone but if we revolve about its hypotenuse I think uh, you remember I explained in the class also last year if we revolve about its hypotenuse we will get two cones upper and lower now we have to find volume and surface area but dono ke liye hum ko chahiye radius we have to find radius radius is not given and even height is not given so we will find BC first how will you find BC Pythagoras theorem right very good so let ABC be the right angle triangle right angle at A so its sides are AB is equals to 3 centimeter and AC is equals to 4 centimeter and the length of hypotenuse that is BC is equals to root over 3 square plus 4 square so 9 plus 16 25 so root 25 is 5 so we got the hypotenuse is 5 centimeter that is B O plus O C ok now we need to find the radius so radius ke liye sabse pehle yaha pe dono cone dekh lo this is the first cone cone B A A dash here height is B O this is the height and uh, slant height is uh, 3 cm and OA is the radius this is for the uh, upper cone and the lower cone C A A dash this is the height and uh, this is the slant height 4 cm and this, same, this is the radius same OA ok now we will take two triangles the answer deko see carefully we are going to take two triangles this is the first triangle this one AOB AOB and CAB in this two triangle this is common angle angle B and this two triangles are 90 degree ok so these two triangles are similar by AA similarity I am uh, repeating once again angle B is common to both the triangles uh, triangle AOB and CAB and these two are 90 degree whether you are able to identify the triangles here in the figure yes sir AOB and CAB right now you have to write the corresponding sides which side is 
opposite to this angle in the first triangle? OA. Very good. In the second triangle? AC. AC. Good. And now opposite to 90 degree. First triangle? BA. BA. Right. Second triangle? BC. 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 Second triangle is full one. BC. So we'll write AO upon CA is equals to AB upon CB. Why? Corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. And out of this we have already three values. AC is 4, AB is 3 and CB is 5. So we'll substitute all the values. Now the value of AO will be 12 upon 5 centimeter. So this is the radius. Any doubt? No, sir. And now see, to find the radius, we have three methods. This is the this is the one method, and the second method, area of triangle method, is also there, and the third method is Pythagoras theorem using Pythagoras theorem. And out of those three method, I feel this is the easy one. Okay. So now let us uh, start. Uh, uh, triangle area of triangle wala method batao kaise nikalna hai see this one r dhyan se dekho see carefully this one h1 this is h2 and this is 90 degree what is the area of triangle abc if bc is the height and uh, oa is the altitude half into 2r into h1 Okay, half into, no, 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 only R, half into base, base is 5, into R, okay, and what is the area of triangle ABC, if we take directly base and height, half into uh, base into height, okay, so half of cancel and what is the value of R? 12 by 5. Same one, same thing. Okay, I have not uh, uh, wrote any steps here. First of mm -hmm. all, you have to write area of triangle AOA, ABC is equal to half into BC into OA. Okay, and area of triangle ABC is equal to half into AC into AB. Then from uh, both equations, we'll get this one. Then R is equal to 12 upon 5. And Pythagoras theorem uh, method is very typical. Ye dono e method is easier. So any doubt in this one? Area of method? No, sir. Okay, we'll move towards. Now volume. Volume of double cone. So very simple volume of upper cone plus volume of lower cone. Okay, what is the formula of volume of cone? 1 by 3 pi one r square h. Right, square. 1 by 3 pi r square h. So r is O A for both the cone. So 1 by 3 pi O A square. Height of upper cone is B O. Yeah, O B. Height of the lower cone is O C. Whether this is clear? Now, what is the common between these two? So half 1 by 3 pi O A square. Right. If we take common, what we will get? O B here and O C here. So, O B plus O C we will get. Okay. Now, we will substitute. O A is 12 by 5 and O B plus O C. This is uh, 3. Uh, sorry, OB plus OC is uh, nothing but this is 5 only. Right? OB plus OC is BC, 5. So, 1 by 3 into 3.14 into 12 by 5 into 12 by 5 into 5. So, 1, 3 we can cancel here. We will get 4. 1, 5 also cancel. And we will get 3.14 into 48 upon 5. So approximately will equals to uh, it will be equals to 30.144 centimeter cube. Now round up to two place. So 30.14 centimeter cube. Any doubt in volume? 
That is AB, and uh, C, uh, CSA of the lower cone is pi R is O A, and uh, the slant height is four. So from this we can take pi into A O common. Now we'll substitute these three values and this one also twelve by five. And already we took pi is equals to three point one four in the first question, uh, first part. So here also we have to take three point. वन फोर डोंट टेक ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन क्योंकि यहाँ पे सेवन आ रहा है तो सेवन से कैंसिल हो जाएगा करके नहीं लेना है राइट सो थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर इंटू ट्वेल्व बाई सेवन फाइव इंटू सेवन नाउ इफ यू सॉल्व दिस थ्री देन विल गेट फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव टू सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर ये तीनों को मल्टीप्लाई करके डिवाइड बाई फाइव करेंगे सो विल गेट फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट सेवन फाइव टू सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर राउंड अप टू टू प्लेस 52.75 cm square so this is total surface area of double cone any doubt in this one in this one no sir okay now we are moving towards the third question uh, a system internally measuring 150 cm into 120 cm into 110 cm has 129600 cm cube of water system mein already itna pani hai और उसका वॉल्यूम जो है द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिस्टम सिस्टम इज दिस वन एंड पॉरस ब्रिक्स आर प्लेस्ड इन द वाटर अंटिल द सिस्टम इज फुल टू द ब्रिम ईच ब्रिक्स एब्जॉर्ब वन सेवनटीन ऑफ इट्स ओन वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर हाउ मेनी ब्रिक्स कैन बी पुट इन विदाउट ओवरफ्लोइंग द वाटर ईच ब्रिक Uh, being 22.5 cm into 7.5 cm into 6.5 cm okay so if water the condition of water will be not given then it is direct question we will divide this volume divided by this volume then we'll get the number of bricks but the two conditions are given pehle to isme ye itna pani hai second it will absorb 117 of its own volume of water okay so the volume of one brick is 22.5 into 7.5 into 6.5 that is approximately equals to one not approximately after multiplying you will get 1096.87 cm cube and volume of cistern is 150 into 120 into 110 that is 19 lakhs 80000 cm cube now let n be the total number of bricks and volume of n bricks will be equals to n into 1096.87 cm cube now in the question it is given that the cistern has this much of amount of water okay so volume of cistern available for bricks is 19 lakhs 80000 minus 1 lakh 29600 that is equals to this one itna वॉल्यूम वहां पे बचा हुआ है क्योंकि पानी उसमें टू वन लैख ट्वेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड ऑलरेडी है सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट ईच ब्रिक एब्सॉर्ब्स वन बाई सेवनटीन ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर सो द टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर अवेलेबल फॉर ब्रिक्स विल बी इक्वल टू सेवनटीन अपॉन सिक्सटीन इन टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिस्टम अवेलेबल फॉर ब्रिक्स क्योंकि उसमें वन सेवनटीन ऑलरेडी उसमें एब्जॉर्ब हो गया सो विल गेट 17 upon 16 into 18 lakh 50,400, and this is equals to 19 lakh 66,050 centimeter cube. So this will be equals to the total volume of n bricks. Now we'll divide this by 1,096.87. So we'll get approximately 1,792.42. Now we'll not round up with including decimal because If we round up, then water will overflow. That is why we will take only integral part. That is one thousand nine hundred seven hundred and ninety-two. Hence, the number of bricks used is equal to one thousand seven hundred and ninety-two. 
Okay, any doubt here? No, sir. Now we'll move toward the last question of the exercise. In one fortnight of a given month, there was a rainfall of 10 cm in a river valley. If the area of a river valley is given 7,280 km square, show that the total rainfall was approximately equal to the addition to the normal water of three rivers each 1072 kilometer long 75 meter wide and 3 meter deep so the area of the valley is given and how will you find the volume of the uh, uh, water rainfall in that valley area into height okay area of valley into the height of the rainfall the height of the rainfall is given 10 centimeter but ye kilometer mein. Okay, so how will you convert 10 centimeter to kilometer? By 1 lakh. Yes, very good. By 1 lakh. Or by 100, then 1000. Okay? 100 se divide karenge to meter mein ho jayega. If you divide it by 1000, it will convert to kilometer. So, volume of total rainfall is equal to area of valley into height. Eight, one zero will cancel and we'll get 0 0.728 kilometer cube. This is the volume of total rainfall. Now we are going to find the volume of three rivers. Okay, three rivers each. The length is given 1072 kilometer and the width is given 75 meter. 75 meter means 75 upon 1000 kilometer. Three meter means three upon 1000 kilometer. So, this is in the form of cuboid length into breadth into height. So, 3 rivers means we have to multiply with 3. Okay. So, this step is clear? Yes, sir. Now, we will multiply all these 4 then divide by 2 thousands. We will get 0 0.7236 kilometer cube. So, hence the total rainfall was approximately equivalent to the normal water of three rivers. Any doubt in this question? No, sir. Okay. Now we are moving towards the next important questions based on speed. As in standard sample paper one speed related question is given. So that is why I thought let us uh, do some uh, CBSC already uh, uh, CBSC board questions. In textbook we have three questions. One is in example and two is in exercise question. And this, these are out of that uh, NCRT uh, questions. So water running in a cylindrical pipe of inner diameter 7 cm is collected in a container at the rate of 192.5 liter per minute. Okay. Find the rate of flow of water in the pipe in kilometer per hour. Question is clear? Yes, sir. Now, volume of water which flows per hour it is given 192.5 liter. Per minute it is given. So, per hour means into 60 we have to do. Now, this is in given liter and diameter is in centimeter. So, I want to convert it into centimeter cube. Kaise karenge? Sir, by 1000. Not 50. by into. Because 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube. So, we have to multiply with 1000. <coughs> so, this is the volume of water which flows per hour. Pura multiply kar, nahi karna hai bhi. Inner radius of the pipe is given 7 by 2 that is 3.5 centimeter. Okay. And let H be the length of the column of water which flows in 1 hour. So, the water which is flowing through the pipe okay that will take a shape of cylinder okay it will form a cylinder with radius 3.5 centimeter and length h centimeter so volume of water which flows in one hour will be equal to volume of cylinder having the radius 3.5 centimeter and length h centimeter so this we already got this one Ye jo pe nikal chuke hai. so we'll substitute here and volume of cylinder is pi r square h. We'll substitute the value of pi 
R is 3.5 and H we need to find. Okay. So 7 ko yaan shift kar lo, baki 22 into 3.5 into 3.5 will come down. If you solve all this, we will get 3 uh, lakhs, 3 lakh centimeter. Convert to kilometer. By 1 lakh. Yes, by 1 kilometers. lakh. By 1 lakh. So 3 kilometer. So this is the length of water flows in 1 hour. So what is the rate of flow through pipe? 3 kilometer. Kilometers per hour. Per hour. Very good. Now we'll move towards next question. This is also a CBSE board question 2013. Water is flowing at the rate of 7 meter per second through a circular pipe whose internal diameter is 2 centimeter into a cylindrical tank. So circular pipe, the internal diameter is given and that if we uh, fill the water through the circular pipe that will take again take a shape of cylinder. And base radius of the cylindrical tank is given 40 centimeter. And we have to determine the increase in the water level in half an hour. So first of all speed, the rate of flow of water is given 7 meter per second. And in centimeter we have to multiply with 100. Okay. And uh, the length of water column in half an hour will be equals to, this is per second. Per half an hour means into 30 into 60. One hour, the total number of seconds is 3600. 60 into 60. So half an hour mein ho jayega, 30 into 60. So that, kisi ka mic on hai, dekho. Anas. Internal radius of circular pipe is given uh, actually diameter is given 2 so radius will be 1 centimeter and water again here also the water column forms a cylinder having radius 1 centimeter and the length is 700 into 30 into 60. Let H be the rise in the level of water in the tank. So volume of water which flows in the tank in half an hour will be equals to volume of water in the tank. Okay. So pi r square h is equals to pi capital R square capital H. Okay. So this is the uh, length of uh, this one. Capital H ye hai. This one is capital H. And uh, uh, capital R I took 1 centimeter. And small r is uh, 40 centimeter. So 40 into 40 because we can cancel pi from both sides. 40 into 40 into h is equals to 1 into 1 into 700 into 30 into 60. So h will be equals to 700 into 30 into 60 divided by 40 into 40. So this two zeros we can cancel. We can cancel for uh, 60 by 4, 15. And one more two we can cancel from these two. 15. So 7 into 15 into 15 by 2 will get 787.5 centimeter. Hence the increase, the rise in the level of water in the tank in half an hour is 787.5 centimeter. Any doubt here? No, sir. Now we'll move towards next important question. Uh, this is 2014 question. 13 may be the 14 may be here. Water in a canal 30 decimeter wide, 12 decimeter deep is flowing with a speed of 10 kilometer per hour. 1 decimeter is equal to how many centimeter? 1 decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter. So, Isko meter mein convert karne ke liye kya karna padega? What we have to do? We have to divide it by 10. Here Thank also God. we have to divide it by 10. Or you can convert it into centimeter and then divide, uh, divide by 100. Fine. How much area will be irrigate in 30 minutes 
if 8 cm of standing water is required for irrigation. Now, this is very similar to our textbook question, but the numbers are different. 30 decimeter is given. Okay, textbook ka question jaisa hi hai. So, width of the canal 30 decimeter, that is 300 centimeter, so 3 meter. And the depth of the canal 12 decimeter, 120 centimeter, 1 1.2 meter. Okay, and it is flowing with a speed of 10 km per hour and canal will take a shape of cuboid. So, since the water is flowing with a speed or velocity 10 km per hour, the, therefore the length of water column in one half hour is 5 km that is 500 meter and volume of water flowing in half hour is equals to volume of cuboid. Why cuboid? Because the water flows in a canal will take a shape of cuboid of length 5000 meter, width 3 meter and depth 1.2 meter. Okay. Or the water jo hai, uh, that will be used for irrigation purpose that will be equal to area of field into height and will take height as uh, area as x uh, meter square and which is irrigated in half an hour. So, formula I told you area of field into height is equals to volume of this one water from canal in one half hour, half an hour that is length into breadth into height 5000 into 3 into 1.2. So, height is given 8 centimeter, but the unit we are using meter. So, we have to divide it by 100. Okay. So, this will implies that x into 8 by 100 is equals to 18,000. So, we will multiply 100 to this and divide by 8. Okay, so 18 lakhs by 8, final answer is 2 lakhs 25,000 meter square. So, this is the required area of field. If suppose, if you want to convert it to into hectare, you have to divide it by 10,000. So, in that case, you will get 22.5 hectare. Any doubt in this question? No, sir. Okay. No, now, sir. we are moving towards the last question. Water is flowing at the rate of 15 km per hour through a pipe of diameter 14 cm into rectangular tank, which is 50 meter long and 44 meter wide. Find the time in which the level of water in the tank will rise by 21 centimeter. See, in the previous question, the uh, h is given and we uh, we have calculated the area of usse pichle ke pichle question mein. Hum log rise of uh, water level nikale the. Usme everything was given, time is given. Now here we have to find the time. And this is repeated question, 2006 mein bhi tha, 2011 mein bhi. Length of tank is 50 meter and the width of tank is 44 meter. And the rise in water level that is 21 centimeter is given. So, we have to convert it into meter. So, 21 upon 100 meter. Okay. So, volume of water in the tank will be equal to L into B into H. So, see carefully 50, 100 se divide hua, 100 ko divide kar diye. Now, we will get 22 here. So, 22 into 21 will get 462 meter cube. Now, the rate of flow of uh, water through the pipe is given and the diameter is given 14 centimeter. So, radius will be 7 centimeter. And uh, 7 centimeter means 7 upon 100 meter. And the length of water column which flows in one hour is 15 kilometer. That is 15,000 meter. And the volume of water which flows through the pipe from the pipe in one hour is equal to pi r square h because that will take a shape of cylinder. And this is equal to 22 by 7 into 7 by 100 into 7 by 100 into 15,000. So, 1, 7 we can cancel here and uh, three zeros we can cancel yaha ka do or yaha ka ek and five two zero five three zero again this two can be cancelled 
so 11 into 21 okay so we'll get 231 meter cube now the time taken is equals to volume of water in the tank divided by volume of water flows from the pipe in one hour that is 462 upon 231 we'll get two hours any doubt no sir one more question is there 2015 see 2013 and 2014 also, 2015 also it repeated. So this is the uh, uh, very important question. This type of question are very important already in sample paper is also given. So water is flowing at the rate of 2.52 km per hour through a cylindrical pipe into a cylindrical tank. The radius of whose base is 40 cm. If the increase in the level of water tank in half an hour is 3.15 meter find the internal diameter of the pipe so now ye thoda hat ke question hai sabse yahan pe radius nikalenge pehle first we will uh, find the radius then we will find the internal diameter so let r be the internal radius of the pipe and the length of water column which flows through the pipe in one hour it is given 2.52 km that is 2520 meter and volume of water flows through the pipe in one hour will be equal to pi r square h. It will take a shape of cylindrical, cylindrical. and 22 by 7 uh, pi ko vaisi rakhenge hamlo keval h ka value substitute karenge pi r square into 2520. So in half an hour we have to divide by 2. So if you divide we will get 1260. 1220. 60 pi r square meter cube now volume of tank for that radius is given 40 centimeter so convert it into meter so 40 upon 100 that is 2 by 5 meter and the uh, height is given 3.15 meter so volume of water in the tank filled in the tank is pi capital r square h pi ko vaisi rakhenge and we'll substitute r and h that is 2 by 5 into 2 by 5 into 315 by 100 so we can cancel this one we'll get 63 okay and you can cancel these two also 425 so 63 upon 125 pi right so now volume of water which flows in half hour is equals to volume of water filled in tank. So 1260 pi r square tha ye, and this is 63 pi upon 125. Pi, pi cancel and we will get r square is equals to 63 upon 125 into 1260. Right. So now we can cancel uh, this two. If you cancel this two, we'll get 1 upon 2500. Uh, 2, 1 upon 2500. The square root of this is 1 upon 50 meter. So convert to centimeter. So what you have to do? Into 100. Right, into 100. Or 100 by 50 will get 2 centimeter. So finally, the diameter will be equal to 2 into 2, that is 4 centimeter. Any doubt in this question? No, sir. Okay, so this is the last question. Now we'll move towards the next section, assignment question. First question, double cones related. Hai. Second, third, fourth question related to speed. Okay, so you have to complete during this vacation. And that's all for today's class. Thank you. Thank you very much.